I wrote Panic because it needed to be written. I think what inspired it was an article that I read about two young girls who were, I think they were 12, and they went down the street one afternoon to get ice cream, and they never came back home. Teenagers today live in a very complicated world. They are drawn to things that are deep and dark and mysterious. They have a lot of problems. It's very hard being a teenager today. What I did in Panic was take two different abusive relationships. Diamond, who finds herself in a very unwilling abusive relationship where she is being abused and held against her will. But her friend Layla is being abused willingly and she refuses to see that she is allowing Donovan to take advantage of her and abuse her in ways that are even more disturbing. But he controls her psychologically, which is a lot more damaging to young girls. So I tried to use the two abusive relationships to show that both are deadly and both are dangerous. But I tried to give hope at the end so that young girls can find out that there are solutions. I think dance and music are important, important healing factors. And the characters in the book need dance. They use dance to express their pain, to express their grief, to express their anguish, to express love. It's music that keeps Diamond alive and hopeful while she's being a captive. The very last dance in the very last chapter is there as a sign of healing and hope that Diamond will survive this and that she will be able to go on. I love music, I love dance, and I'm glad that I was able to weave it in and do it so successfully. And young people write me all the time and say, thank you for writing this book. Thank you for writing about abuse because it does exist. And my mother doesn't believe it and my teacher doesn't believe it, but yes, it does exist. I've had young people write to me and say, I could be Diamond. It happened to me. Thank you for writing this book and warning other young people. These kinds of horrible things do exist. Be careful to be aware, to uh, be aware of the situation, to not let themselves get involved in a situation where someone is sweet talking them or, or promising them something, I can make you a star, that kind of situation. So I hope that it, it becomes a warning to young, young women and young men too.